is delivering already many new homes right across Australia under our Home Builder program. We're delivering a program that is creating an increase in the supply of housing stock right across the country. Australia's top health officials say the latest vaccine deal with Moderna is an exciting development in our COVID strategy. The federal government has secured 25 million doses of the vaccine from the US-based drug company. 10 million will be deliv delivered later this year and 15 million booster shots will be available from 2022. The WA government has announced the easing of coronavirus restrictions in Perth and the neighbouring region of Peel. From Saturday, masks will no longer be mandatory except at the airport. Caps for weddings and funerals will be lifted and Perth Stadium can operate at full capacity for weekend football. A police strike force has been set up to investigate allegations of sexual violence against New South Wales Government MP Gareth Ward. It's investigating alleged incidents dating back to 2013. He's denying any wrongdoing and has removed himself from the Liberal Party crossbench. Pending the investigation, no charges have been laid. An arthritis drug is being used in a new clinical trial to help shrink tumours in patients with pancreatic cancer. Gabriella Rogers has the details. Dozens of patients will be recruited as early as next month for the trial to help fight pancreatic cancer. The disease is highly lethal as it's often picked up late and only 11% of patients survive after five years. That's why new treatments are desperately needed. Researchers at the University of New South Wales are trialling an arthritis drug which blocks a protein found to be a potent way to attack pancreatic cancer cells and reducing surrounding scar tissue. The latest development is the result of 10 years of research in the lab. Gabriella Rogers, Nine News. To sport, the AFL Commission wants all 18 AFL clubs to have an AFLW team by the end of 2023. Next season will be brought forward to start in December to prevent the 10-match competition overlapping with the men's season. Australia need a space division. Is war on the cards? And if so, with who? 
Who is Australia going to take on in war? China? You're kidding. Anyway, just so I let you know that we, the taxpayers of Australia, are about to fund. We don't know how much because, of course, it's top secret, but we do know that it's in the official planning. It's underway. The Australian military is going to launch its own space division in 2022. And by the way, its chief has already been appointed. Royal Australian Air Force Vice Marshal Catherine Roberts is going to lead the division from January. So there you go. Now that we're pulling our troops out of Afghanistan, what else are our soldiers, all good men and women, what are they going to do? Except maybe help people out after a natural disaster? As I say, intercept illegal fishing boats, smugglers. Why the hell do we need these submarines? Why do we need the Defence Force? I'm just asking. If you've got some thoughts, one triple three five three is the telephone number. I'm going to talk sport later this morning with Tim Robinson. Have a guess who the world's richest athlete is. It's been a crazy year. Um, if somebody had asked me, I would have said, surely uh, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, the soccer player, would be up there. But the, um, Lionel Messi, the Barcelona superstar, would be up there. LeBron James, how much does he make playing for the LA Lakers? Um, the Dallas Cowboys quarterback, Dan Prescott, how much is he worth? Roger Federer, he's got to be up there. Lewis Hamilton, Formula One. Uh, Tom Brady, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers quarterback, he's got to be worth something. Um, no. Guess who? The world number one richest athlete is. It is a male. It is Connor McGregor. He is the sporting world's highest paid athlete. He ranks around $233 million. And guess what? Most of that is with his commercial ventures. Um, he got $28.5 million from his company you know, over Donald Trump in January, but the bulk of this bloke's pay packet, by the way, he's a former plumber. It pays to go to TAFE, kids. He's a former plumber. Um, he has an estimated $204.5 million. It came from business activities, including the sale of his proper 12 whiskey brand. Uh, not a lot of his money comes from his fighting, so good luck to him. But there you go, the world's highest paid athlete, Conor McGregor. I don't know much about him, if you do, tell me about it. One, triple, three, five, three. Real fight. We get into trouble. Are you confused? Yeah. 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 The U.S. farmer, I'm, I'm interested to hear your take on this. It's the story of a farmer, a frantic farmer, can I add, who has delivered his own baby. And only the instructions of a triple zero operator after his wife unexpectedly went into labor. Rather than seeing he's from Ipswich in Queensland. He got a call from his heavily built wife about 6 a.m. on May the 5th uh, to tell him her waters had broken. And this soon-to-be father, he's pleaded with his wife to try and hold off the labour, told her not to push, but realised that his daughter was already being born.
Um, that, so you don't get to choose your on hold music, the, the phone provider chooses it. I think so, I'm not sure, mate. I'm not, I'm not up to all that stuff. No, I don't, I don't know anything about it either. Um, do, do you have kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How old are they? 17 and 9. Okay. The reason I ask. Yeah, and she went to do that. We were standing beside her and then he sort of looked over her about half an hour, 20 seconds and realised she was screaming and then he went black. He quickly grabbed her off up and then he started shaking it and sort of started walking. Yeah. And then he turned his phone back on and called his phone number and called his phone number. ยะครบอันนี้เออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออ